Hi everyone, this is Patrick Idetsky at SignalWizardSystems.com and today I'm going to go through the controls on the vSound 2 hardware unit. So we'll start with the top panel first. On the top left is the volume control and that's a standard analog control and it controls the volume at the output stage of the vSound unit. On the top right hand side we see the preamp which can be switched between 0 and 14 dBs. And it's important to understand that the preamp is connected to the input of vSound and it should only be used with pickups that have got a very very low output gain. The consequence of that is if you use it with a pickup with a high gain then you can get clipping and if you get clipping turning down the volume control won't help because the preamp is connected to the input stage not the output stage. The bottom two foot switches control the selection of impulse responses. The one on the left cycles through the loaded impulse responses and it goes from 0, which is bypass, up to 10. The vSound unit can hold 10 impulse responses in its memory. The bypass toggle switch does as its name suggests. It toggles between the currently selected impulse response and bypass mode. And the switch settings of the foot switches are remembered on power up. If we now switch to the front side panel, we have four inputs. On the left we have the input, which takes a standard quarter inch jack. The next connector is the USB connector, which allows the hardware unit to communicate with the dedicated software. Next to that we have the power supply, and that's a standard power supply for music pedals of this kind. It's a 9 volt center negative. And finally we have the output socket. Again, this takes a quarter inch jack. Okay, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please visit the website www.signalwizardsystems.com or you can send us an email. Thanks very much for watching and listening.